Next, I want to show you how to conditionally format the fields in your forms. And maybe you have used conditional formatting with Microsoft Office Excel. Basically, what it does is it formats your data based on certain conditions. So in this example, I'm going to be using the order list form here inside of our database. And we're going to be taking a look at the totals column. It's all the way over to the right hand side. These are the totals for the different orders. And I'm going to show you two different ways to conditionally format here inside of Access. In the first example, I want to change the color of the font and maybe make it a little bit bold if my order totals are, let's say, greater than $1,000. So to do that, you can either switch over to Design View or Layout View. I'll switch to Layout View. So in the top left-hand corner of my Home tab, I'll go ahead and click on my Layout View button. And I'll scroll over so I can see that Totals column one more time. I can click in any one of the total sales. It doesn't matter which one, and I don't have to have the whole column highlighted. Now, at the top of the screen in the ribbon, I've got the Form Layout Tools, and I'll head over to the Format tab, and on the right-hand side, I have Conditional Formatting. So I'll go ahead and give that a click, and there are no rules set up right now for Order Total, so I'll create a new rule. And the conditional rule that I'm going to set here is that the field value is greater than, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll say greater than or equal to 1,000. Now, I want that to stand out, so I'll make it bold, and I'll change the color to green. All right, I'll click on OK, and OK, and there we go. And I can scroll down, give it a second to refresh, and I can see that all of my order totals above 1,000 have turned green. All right, let me show you another example. I'm going to use the same field total, but this time I want data bars to show up. So basically I'm going to be creating kind of like a little graph, and it's going to compare all the numbers in the total column. The orders with the smallest total amount will have the smallest bar, and the orders with the highest total amount will have the longest bar. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. I'm still in layout view. So again, I'll just click on any one of my cells here. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to head on back to Conditional Formatting. And this time, I'm going to change the rule to Compare to Other Records. So now down here at the bottom, I have different types. The shortest bar is going to be the lowest value, and the longest bar is going to be the highest value. But I can change that to Numbers or Percentages. I'll go ahead and leave it as Values. And maybe I'll change the bar color a little bit. And click on OK. And OK. All right, so there we are. And if I scroll down, I can see that the longest bars are for the highest values. And the shortest bars are for the lowest values. So it's very similar to using conditional formatting in Excel. So you just have to be in either Design View or Layout View. Go to the Format tab and then Conditional Formatting. Oh, and if you want to turn off Conditional Formatting or delete a rule, again, you click on Conditional Formatting, and you have your Edit Rule and Delete Rule.